Yes, yeah, Chris Tudor here, 2019 European and National Aquathlon Champion in my age group. And today I'm going to discuss heart rate training, but I'm going to follow it on a bit more onto my from my previous video and I'm going to explain how to to you use it um, and how to work it out. <laughs> from my last video um, how to work out your heart rate max and use it for your training um, so heart rate training I won't touch on about it from the introduction from my last video um, because I covered a lot of that in the previous one so I'm covering stuff that I haven't covered before so if you um, if you watched my previous video before if you haven't which was a few weeks ago and I've put the link in the description um, that will lead you on to this video and will help you on how to work out your heart rate max and um, use it for heart rate training. So firstly, how do you work out your heart rate max? So um, there's a lot of ways you can do it. Firstly, you can go and be rigged up in a lab um, and have a mask put on and they take your lactic threshold, um, they take your oxygen and you can get, that's the most accurate way you can get your heart rate max from that way. You can get this done at um, most universities um, that have sp sports studies there. Um, a lot of their students or professors do it part of their studies and they offer it for free. So get in touch and ask them. Um, you can pay for this um, to get done at, um, again at universities and it costs I think roughly up to about £100. Um, it's very beneficial uh, to use. Um, so how so if you if you don't want to do that so how what can you do next? Um, so this is the, probably the, the home way to do it, and and they, they are not as accurate, but they are fairly accurate, and it gives you an estimate. So firstly, I'd say you need a um, a heart rate monitor strap. So you need a strap um, better than using the wrist movement, um, well the wrist uh, monitor on the watch. Now these are fairly accurate and um, will give you a guideline to your heart rate. Now, um, how do you um, get the heart rate max? So um, what you could do, you could work out it out from a previous PB or a previous race or a hard session that you recently did, and um, that would roughly give you a heart rate max. But what I recommend is you do a Cooper's test of 10 to 12 minutes um, full out really hard uh, running um, as hard as you can run so if you were for example to go around a track go around a track for 10 to 12 minutes as hard as you can and um, so that you feel like you've pushed so hard and you will be able to get your heart rate max from that roughly um, so when you've got your heart rate max um, well the first thing is to do the reason why we're doing these is because the 220 minus age thing um, was proven years ago not to work because everyone's heart's different, everyone is different. So don't do that. So um, once you get your heart rate max uh, um, figure, uh, I'll put this um, description, uh, sorry, the link in the description for how to get your zones. So you just put in your heart rate max and put in this, and it'll give you your zones. Now, so you ideally want to, once you've done that, you put it into the computer, put, um, manually put it into your watch, so it's all changed up. Um, what's the big mistake people do is that they, they go manually, well, they go into their watch um, and just run with it, and they think that's the zones. Normally, it just estimates the zones, and it could be completely wrong for you. So put your own zones in um, from the link that I've mentioned. Um, so wh when you've found it, you then um, you want to look at, you'll get like a description of like easy, um, steady run, moderate, intermediate, um, hard running. So you know there's what zones to be running in. So ideally um, you want to be following the 80 to 20% rule. Um, and as mentioned in the previous video, you want to be doing your most of your runs, um, well, most of your training in easy, which will be zone one and zone two. So easy means easy, 
Um, it's not moderate, intermediate. Um, a lot of people don't realize that easy training, they're, they're not doing easy training. So it's always good to go with heart rate because the indicator uh, means one day your heart rate, for example, my heart rate max is 179, um, which seems quite low to people from my age. Um, and um, so I'll train between 120 to 135 beats per minute, and that gives me zone one and zone, uh, rock, um, towards the end of zone one and into zone two fully. Um, so some days I could be, say, cycling power output could be really high and my zone um my heart rate could be low i could be out running um and i, I could be flying along for example in seven minute miles and then another day i could be running same heart rate and i could be running eight minute miles and there's a lot of factors could be like stress um lack of sleep um food intake could be a lot of things that um interfere with heart rate so that's why um, heart rate is so important to your training because if you go out one day and you you, you do have you are tired and um, you don't take notice, for example, and you're and you're running at seven minute miles. And I did this in a few years back when I was marathon training. I thought oh, I could sustain this, and then the following day I woke up completely shattered, and it took me a few days to recover. So the idea of heart rate training is that you train easy and you'll be, an be able to improve your endurance base, which therefore make you go faster in the long run. And then um, you'll be able to look at and um, go faster that way. And then um, hard days, you can go really hard. So, so easy days, easy and hard days, hard. So that, that's how to really work it out once you've got your zone. So you wanna do a lot of your training in zone one and zone two, and then the hard days, you wanna give it your all and go, Harder, so um, more experienced people will know what zones to go in, and they might do more of the tempo run some days. But um, you do want to really be focusing on zone one, zone two, and um, you should feel refreshed afterwards. So that's really a way how to use your heart rate um, to its full potential and how to improve your training. So thanks for watching this video. Please uh, leave a comment. What do you think? Um, what zones are you um, training? Do you find that zone one or zone two may be um, too slow for you? Are your zones right? Um, and it's normal to be walking to start off with, pace will dip, um, but you will improve, um, pace will pick up, um, and you'll see that qu quite quickly in your training. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks again. And the uh, champions of the uh, this age category, Henrietta Tarasevic, Emilianis Cristadou, Pinchibis Cristadou.